Trains are some of the most efficient vehicles we have, using steel wheels along steel track, making for a smooth and low resistance operating surface with few to no stops between stations. And with Canada being the second largest country in the world, Via Rail is traveling long distances. So what happens if one of those wheels gets a flat spot? Well, in Canada, it ends up here at the Via Rail Maintenance Center in Vancouver. But the process is a little different from changing a flat tire on a car. You see, as a train travels across Canada, it experiences sun, rain, snow across the Maritimes, the Canadian Shield, the Prairies, and the Rocky Mountains before arriving here on the West Coast. Which means it may encounter rock falls, snow banks, trees across the tracks, or any other debris along its way across this 7,000 kilometer country. Which is what makes these jobs here so important. This is the inspection station. And after a long trip across Canada, this is the first step to check the safety of these cars before they can head back out in the opposite direction. But of course, before we head in, safety first. With safety being the number one role of this position, well, we're happy to have Clint on the job. So, what are we looking for? First thing that we're gonna look at is the coupler. We're just checking for wear on all the uh, pockets and the wing, the springs to make sure that they're in place. Our uh, handbrake rigging is all good. All the safety connections are there, the pins, the cotter keys, the disc, make sure that there's no cracks, overheating, discoloration. So just like a car, a train uses disc brakes. That's right. We have certain cars that have disc brakes and then we also have some cars that have the tread brakes. While we're under here, we generally check the wheel condition on the tread. Okay. and on the flange itself to see that there's no condemning defects on the wheel itself. Okay, great. This particular coach is fine and doesn't have any defects. However, if they did find one, the coach would then be moved from the inspection station here to the repair station. This is where they'll be able to lift the coach to make repairs. Four 50-ton jacks lift up the car in the air so that we can inspect thoroughly. As soon as I watch you, 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 you watch? <laughs> Glenn watches. <laughs> <laughs> you work you work at Via yeah. Rail all day and then you watch Via Rail videos. Yes. I love it. So this is normally where the wheels would sit, but yes. you've slid them out of the way so you can inspect this. Yes. Wow. So what's this? So this is basically an ultrasound machine. Ooh. It'll go through the metal and tell us exactly how thick that piece of material is. So it's 0.494 inches. inches. Thick. I had no idea you'd use ultrasound for metal. That's smart. Yeah. In this case, they made a repair. And now it's good to go again. Well, once they put the wheels back on. Speaking of wheels, Via Rail locomotives use electric motors on their right. wheels. They're essentially diesel hybrid electric things? Exactly, exactly. Wow, I had no idea. Some of them are shinier than others. These are the ones that are actually off of the wheel crewing machine. I was gonna which say. Which we're going to next. Perfect we're transition. Going. So, if a wheel is found to have a flat spot or running a little wonky, they'll use this wheel truing machine to straighten it all out. Yeah, we sort of start in at a 120, slowly cut into the wheels until the wheel's nice finish. Is this a cutter? These are cutters here. And the reason the shape is the way it is is because that's how... It's contour of the wheel. Wow. Is it a pretty much a simple job for you? Turn it on and let the machine do the work? Watching and adjusting the whole, throughout the whole cut. So you're an artist in this. I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> they call it a late run. So when TJ turns the machine on, a hydraulic motor turns the train wheel smoothly. And then this cutter spins at high speed and cuts into the metal of the wheel, sort of sanding it down until the entire wheel is perfectly round again and the flat spot is gone. All right, thanks, TJ. Thank you. We'll let you finish up. Now I see why they come out so shiny like we saw earlier. Now, if a wheel is so far damaged that it must be replaced, well, how do they do that since the wheels are so heavy? Well, instead of lifting the whole train again, they actually drop the wheels out from under it. They lower the wheels and send it out under the train to the front of the building where they'll grab the new set with the forklift. They'll get placed onto the track and reverse the process to send them back under the train and mount them again. So that coach has a fresh set of wheels and is ready to head back out onto the rails. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching Downey Live. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. I'll see you next week.